Hello everyone and welcome back to Fable Heyman's Old War, War Hammer 3. The Tallyman of Nurgle, Epidemius, has begun his descent south of the Chaos Wastes and begins in earnest his war against Kislev. Although it looks like Rasputin is not coming to the aid of the Ice Queen. Perhaps he'll see this as a favor to him, but I doubt he's going to like us. That is where A.N.R. the Ascendant, I gave him a purple title, is chilling, and I'm looking today. Ooh, Reichland does absorb Ostland. I am looking to get our third army up and running, which will of course be none other than Tammy Chan, uh, Tamarkan. Hey, look, the Green Moon. Not that it really helps us. Currently, we do have quite a lot of plagues out there, but the number is falling, so we'll see if we can keep our tally high. Gaze, it continues to be absolutely incredible. And he may have to switch over to someone else's army, but we'll see. Now, I do have two missions to destroy this army, both from Wolfric and from uh, Asgroth. So we'll just take a little bit of a step back, reclaim this. Boom, boom, boom. I would like for... I have a great scheme. A glorious scheme. Uh, and that is to give some... Uh, Norskan units to Tamarkan. This is Epidemius. Epidemius has gotten his blue bar completed. Um, We are going to want all these, but I don't think right now it's that big of a deal. So we'll go down the combat line. Epidemius is actually quite durable. Which is weird. <laughs> but he is, so that's fun. And uh, you're going down your combat line as well. You'll love to see him. He's definitely a much better fighter than the Plague Riddens. Also, Nurgle is Ascendant at the moment in the great game. And we are going to want to make use of that. With exponential growth, we can increase the growth, but more importantly, reduce recruitment costs. Which means it'll make us much easier to recruit for our boy Tamarkan. And we have so many directions to point him in. Because we have so many opponents. Wipe them out. You're not allowed to exist. So I suppose until uh, Rasputin declares war on me, close to Altine, I'll backtrack a little bit with this guy to try and take on, you know, get rid of all this stuff. We'll see. Eternal See. Become a better fighter, please, and thank you. So we have... Yeah, I'm hoping... We can take all these. I'm hoping that Wolfric and the... Sertha Ek, whichever one he is, are a good barrier against the Druki, who don't really seem to hate me right now. Let's take a look at our diplomatic situation. The plague. For some reason, uh, Kugath is not what enjoying me. Do you bring for my head? I don't know why. I wish he would. Maybe he needs to start losing and then he'll he'll get over it. He'll get over it eventually. Oh yes, of course. I can just quick deal. Silly baby. Yes. Who's next? Ooh, Wolfric wouldn't mind a full-blown alliance. And you know what, Wolfric? I wouldn't mind one either. And for 3.5k, seems good. How many things do I have with you? I only have 20 allegiance. Okay. It's not a lot. But it might be time to start getting that third army going. Now, we can either put him over here, which I don't think is necessary since ANR is kind of cleaning this up, or we can put him over here. And Grimgore is being... Um, Grimgore. He is assaulting Astrogoth, and this he won here. Oof. Oof. We'll soon be aiding Uzkalak in its defense. We should be already, actually. Hmm. So I think we are going to let um, Tamarkan get his revenge. His glorious revenge. We'll bring you back this way. We'll pop our exponential growth. Here. And then we'll get Tommy up. Tommy. Tommy. Tommy-chan. There he is, the Maggot Lord. And it reduces wound time. He has Nurgle's favorite son, which I believe is like a ward save thing. 
melee attack for non-demonic units and ITP for non-demonic units. Okay. Yeah, I had a quest for that. So how bad did the AI mess you up here? Okay. It's not awful. Not awful. He doesn't have his... And his friend, the Toad Dragon. Crew reduction for non-demonic units. Wow. He really wants... Non-demonic. Plague Ogres. Okay. Alrighty. And Toad Dragons. I may have one Toad Dragon in the pool. We'll see. Let's see what we've got, we're working with. I'm sorry. Is that zero? Is that free? Hmm. Well, okay then. Alrighty. You want to give me free chosen? I'll take it. Then we... We're going to want a war shrine, I suppose. Why not? Uh, no rot knights. No toad dragons. No big spooky things. Actually, before we get to this... Can I push a cycle? We did get quite a few infections. You're on cycle one. You're on cycle two. Uh, you're not going to help me. I can push it, though. Hmm. What about you? How expensive for you to push? 225. Yikes. Those are exalted. Hmm. Oh, research. Okay, it looks like we don't have too much to push here. I wish I did, though. But hey, this is what it is. It is what it is. I don't know if tro trolls should count as non demonic, right? So what, um, what do you do again? Downfall pen, regeneration for sh chaos, frost dragons, and dragon ogre shagaths. Horrible regeneration for Cygor, beasts of Nurgle, Fimir, and skin wolves. Okay. Let's get our chosen here. Then we'll get, I suppose, two of each ogres. We'll... Put them to the tests. To the test. I do have a special soul grinder we can get. Let's see. Are the bile trolls demonic? They are not. Cool. To the chosen. The forsaken are technically not demonic either. We'll get the Noxbringer in this army, I think. Which is the ROR. Plague Bear. Okay, that's 12. Fortunately, I can't recruit anything here. What's the nearest recruitment? Is it really going to be Crack a Drack? Ugh, it's really going to be Crack a Drack. Okay. That's not Crack a Drack. This is Crack a Drack. Okay, so let's get Plague Rush. Cultist of the Fly let's Lord. get... Burning Body could be cute. Sure. And then we can get a Nurgleite Spellcaster. Oof. Hmm. I mean, I suppose we can get Dark Fury. Sure. Alright, they'll all start waddling over here. That's three units. Then we have you. For four. So we have four slots left, technically. Let's do what we can get from the World Walkers. None. Why is that, Mr. World Walker? Ah. Next turn. Fair enough. My economy has hit the pits. You hate to see it. 
Althus, I had so much income and now I have none. Hmm. Is there any way I can get more? There sure is. We might just need to get some... Like marauders, I guess, to fill this army. Over here. Fill that upkeep. It's because we have uh, four chosen. Chosen are expensive. Alright, we'll hold off on the other stuff for now. I wouldn't mind something really big, though. What about a Bale Taurus? One flying unit, you know? We'll we'll chill. We'll wait. Okay, we have come over here. I kind of wish there was a button here to increase or reduce, I should say, upkeep. Hmm, is there an upkeep reduction button? I don't think there is. There it is, way the heck over there. Well, Let's go towards um, Rot Glorious Rounds. I know I talked at the end of the last episode about going towards all the, the plague reduction stuff, or plague spreading stuff, but... Okay. Okay, I'm not going to upgrade anything on the front lines, but we'll keep upgrading stuff back here. That for sure, give me money. Uh, we want all of our ports at tier 3. I'm not going to upgrade any more because I'm broke. We may be able to get some money out of people, but for now... This'll do. I do not wish to waste time. Hey, look. Rasputin has decided to go to war with me, which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. The reason it's unfortunate isn't because I wasn't prepared for this. I was totally prepared to go to war with Rasputin. The problem is we have this stuff up here in Trollheim. Maybe we can let Wolfric do it. The Varg have attacked. We're going to enter on side of our friend. I hope that doesn't affect my loyalty. It might. Growth all provinces. Okay, our economy is recovering. You'll love to see it. It's unfortunate that Epidemius doesn't really have a choice here. Okay. Can I get some money here? Ooh, I sure can. And we're going to fight Kostaltin himself. Okay. Uh, you guys are all going towards Temichan. How long is this going to take? Quite some time. Okay. It looks like Grimgor has the same idea I do. A crusade? What path are you guys taking? What the? Okay, hold on. We're going to manual this a little bit. We got to fix this too. Okay. Is there an upkeep reduction in here? That would be very good. Up and string, construction cost. Income from all buildings. Now we're talking. Okay, upkeep reduction. We're going to bring this over here. Um, sure. We're going to put this here. And we're going to max duration. Max spread. And we will one turn immunity. Wow, okay. We're full juicing this. How my list grows! Great. Tammy is definitely going to have to chill for a wee bit, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. Tammy can chill. Epidemius is healing. That's fine. We have a damaged building. Ah, of course. All right. 
I'm a little worried because my front line is wounded here, but I think we'll be okay. I'll freeze off your fingers. All right, let's get to work. A valiant defeat, the game thinks. It thinks wrong. So we're in a little bit of a repeat situation from last time. In that, uh... Postalton is coming from right here. We're gonna stand on top of him. That's my entire game plan. Unfortunately, this time I don't have a, a sacrificial lamb. But, um... Delay this stack coming at me, but we'll deal with it. We'll manage... We'll put uh, you three together. We have our giant bilious thundergruff. The army really is kind of haggard, isn't it? <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We really don't need two war, sh uh, war shrines, but it's okay. So we're going to go stand over here. We're gonna get you guys over here, you guys over here, you guys over there, we'll make sure you're hunting down the shrine, you go there. We might have our flying units actually go like, toy with them, you know? And by our flying units, I mean strictly ANR. Although I'm gonna need him for Spirit Leech, yeah. Looks like the AI is deciding not to come at me, which is the epitome of folly. And they will regret it in time. So we'll just bring everyone in. Now, the Pestigors are actually quite... Okay, hold on. Quite, uh... Squishy. You go there. We're just going to have these guys take care of the... You don't come at me. You're gonna, you're gonna have a hard time here. The bad. Now there are a lot of spears here, but I think it'll be okay. I hope it'll be okay. Yeah, the isolated units will just have our flying boys go at it. Come on, boys, get in there. Let's uh. Put you in melee mode and get you more power. Yep, okay. The AI is going to let me do this. Fair enough. We're going to have a good time then. And remember, every time ANR, even though he's on fire right now, casts Spirit Leech, he will be healing the entire army with the children of Nurgle. Ah, it's glorious. Well, let's start poking the bear, shall we? What do I want you shooting at? Bossars. Oh, uh, that one. Ghost Dalton has fallen. The great warriors of Zinch. Zinch. <laughs> of Nurgle. Are uh, doing well. And we're just chomping. Yep. How much is your war shine up to? Full. It's fully juiced already. You'll love to see it. Alright, we have the Soul Grinder going. Going hard. There is more coming, so maybe I shouldn't poke the bear too soon, but... Hey. It's their fault. It's their fault for being so divided. Oh, here come the big things. Okay, hold on. We want you and you to chase this down. Uh, we can also have you get over here. So these are the light war sleds, probably the the strongest things that the, this particular army had. War sleds have been very powerful for a long time. Where are you? Not that. Our trolls here are taking a lot of damage, so we'll be pulling them back. And we will... I can spirit leech the, the sheds. It's fine. The sheds. Yes. Sleds. Looks like the Nurgle boy is having fun and they aren't responding, so we'll let him have it. The Iron Demon has been stuck. The Forsaken do not like this fight. We'll have them go take these. 
And I want you guys. What are you up to? You're having fun. Go get these. Make sure we have the right targets and the right people. We have the locust, or we have fecundity. Right now, the only thing we can actually use. And I think this is going well. Unfortunately, my bile trolls are fighting things they don't want to fight. That's what they do. They do that for a living. Oh, okay. More war sleds are coming. Now, when it comes to war sleds, uh, they will be an annoying opponent for me. But we'll just get the right things to chase down the right things. Make sure we're spirit leeching all of them. The Rot Knights in particular. We want to make sure they're chasing them down without, you know. Onward, oh, you're still fighting here. Okay, we'll make sure this go chases that then. The Toads don't really want to be fighting these, but they can. The Rot Knights should do heinous levels of damage to the, the Sheds. The Sleds. The Dreaded Sheds. The Kislev Shreds. Sheds known to shred all in existence. That is a pretty good bombardment, but unfortunately, or fortunately, uh, it was against large targets. Astagoras will have the AP to get through this stuff. They don't want to, really. My soul grind is doing alright. The Iron Demon doesn't really want to be here. Pop that with the Jade Tando as we get bomb blasted. We're gonna get this guy to go around, try and shut down the shooting. Where's my rot knights? My big spooky rot knights that do not want to be where they are. My forsaken don't want to be here either. Nobody wants to be where they are. My poor soul grinder. Would you come back? Alright, let's get going. He's lived kind of has everything I don't want to fight. You know? All hell mighty. They have shooting, they have anti large. We'll take you off melee and get you shooting. Okay. The trolls aren't doing anything. You guys aren't doing anything. Very rude. Make sure you continue spirit leeching for the children of Nurgle. You guys are chilling, which you shouldn't be. I are being bombarded because you were chilling when you shouldn't be. Our ogres got drawn into this fight and are now being poked to death. Very unfortunate. And it looks like we have an army wide break. Although, unfortunately, we are. It is Kislev, so. They may be broken, but they are not shattered. They fight. Until the end. We'll get that guy to chase us down. See if we can kill some of these heroes before, uh... Honestly, I want to wipe the wagons as well. Um, so we don't really want to kill the Lord if we can help it. The reason being... The, uh... If the Lord dies, they'll get a new Lord, and, you know, And we'll have to get them back down from 100%. But if the Lord survives, barely, these wagons are gone. Then the Lord will be at no health in the next combat. Although it looks like we did get quite a lot. No. Quite a lot. Well, wrong target. Quite a lot here. But uh, I'll spare you the, the grind. And just like that... 3% replenishment? Are you mad? Hey, look, the bug's been fixed. We can get infections now, but I'd rather have uh, money. I killed all of them, only for 3%. But Rasputin has been put in his place. Faith Breaker. The Kislevite Patriarch's obsession with dogma and control proved to be his undoing in battle where he was soundly subjugated by his opponent. Oh, the irony. That gives flaming attacks. Hey, look, we got some money in the Father of Blades. 
Interesting. What weapon do you have, Aenar? You have the Fencer's Blades. Well, now you have the Father of Blades. What is the Father of Blades? I don't know. Scroll of Shielding, huh? Oh, that's fine. You also gain two points. Two points, which means we can get Plagued Mark, which gives us the Locus of Virulence. And Decaying Brand, which gives us an additional repunishment rate and the Paragon of Decay. Fantastic. Marvelous. You are continuing to go down the combat tree, which you're doing well enough in. I have not been overly disappointed by your performance. You should be on a rot beast. It's good. Fantastic. And Carol von Horstmann on your glorious war shrine. Honestly, you maybe should be good. Bloated core carcass, but we'll we'll camp out the gate of Nurgle. That way we can summon a great unclean one soon, TM. Tamarkan is continuing to hold the line here because Grimgor himself is nearby. Which concerns me. We also have an incredible amount of growth in this province, so we are going to go ahead and pop that. My upkeep has changed once again for the worst. How unfortunate. So I'm probably not going to spend too much money here. Apples upgrade is available. Speaking of Apples upgrade, I should actually be able to recruit some stuff now. From Wolfric, our friend. We don't need Marauder Champions. Marauder Champions wish they were my chosen. We do want some... Can I, I can't even get from here, right? I don't believe I can. We could get... I mean, Feral Manticores are surprisingly good. We do want some skin wolves. Unfortunately... Oh, we can't get from your warriors. Nice! These guys are absolutely insane. Big fan. Huge fan. They will, of course, be buffed by our Famir Balefiend of Shadows once we get this. Giving them region is going to be nutty. Big fan. If only we could get Dragon Ogre Shagas, but... Unfortunately, our friends of Chaos... Speaking of, we only have one left, don't we? Okay, we're still very high reliable. Fantastic. Where is... Wait, did he die? The scroll pen. The, the slow panning towards Festus. Old Sai, wondrous contagions. Our precursors to life. You have not... Okay, we have now entered into an allyship. I can make an outpost. No settlements available. Excuse me. Would agree. Oh, Wolfric has made his outpost there. Wolfric! I was trying to get a dragon over Shaggoth. Fair enough. Fair enough. Cool. Ah, Bellacor is still alive. Master. That's where we're not going to have to stay for long. And I don't think it's even worth it. You have 11 settlements. Well done, Prince Sigvald the Magnificent. Like I said, unfortunately, I don't expect Bellacor to live to for cool. long. Are you? You okay. have a... <laughs> more head skulls. Hey, quick ones, be friends. You right ear on corpse. Yes. What part? Cool. We'll good. see if we can be friends with him. God maker. Death before. I forgot we can make vassals. Interesting. I wonder if we'll ever actually be able to make a vassal. I find vacillation to be quite difficult. Unless you have, um... Unless you are a warrior of chaos, which can just brute force it. Or Norskin, I suppose. Norskins can brute force it as well. Where is this? Okay. That's enough money. We'll keep the rest of it. And this time for sure, I'm going to make sure I don't forget movement. You are healing. You are healing as well. Onward! The next turn. I remember back in the day. Back in my day. The Chaos factions were really underdeveloped. But, um... They were a horde faction. And the horde mechanic still needs work. But, um... 
your economy was always in the negative you were a horde faction. You never had positive economy. Ooh, look at that. Um, plague toads or plague bearers? Let's get plague bearers. Now, Asgoroth wants the help hit. Asgoroth can have the help hit, I think. We'll get this to complete our province. And would you look at that? Our economy is fixed for now. For now. I'm sure it won't be. Ooh, that's actually very useful. Wow. This is passive cycle, er, cycle time for our units. Nice. Unfortunately, our growth is capped here. Wow. We'll build that one up because it's the one in the back. It's fine. We have no buildings to cycle at the moment. So we will chill. Don't really need to build anything here at the moment either. Epidemius. Your friends continue to level and prove that work. Who is this? The cultist. I truly pray to the dark gods to Nurgle that uh as Garoth doesn't take Prague, I want Prague. I want it. Nine. Cultist of the Fly Lord. You're going that way. You're following. The rats are following. And this way as well. We're going to cut through this area to get over to Tamarkan. Who is still chilling. Get another from here, it's what? Many more turns. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, Anna, my boy. How are you doing? Looks like, um... You are licking your wounds. I'll freeze off your fingers. This would be a tough battle, I think, if I tried to fight them all at once. No higher power Amusing. But a tough battle. Can I do it? Let's dump this Forsaken. Oh, I'm so close. Um, can I get some money from somebody? Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Vestas. Okay, so with that money from Festus, we can get the Noxbringer, a second uh, Soul Grinder of Nurgle. And I think you have 800 upkeep. My goodness gracious. I think we can use that to win this, I hope. I do have a dying Plague Ogre, but hey, that's fine. Now, I could just fight them. And then, you know, rush it and kill it. It might not actually be possible for... Wow, the AI even thinks I'm going to win. But, um, unfortunately, this is the majority of my army lost. We simply cannot have that. Let's get some armor piercing. Anyone need it? My entire armor is kind of, Our army is kind of armor piercing, isn't it? Hmm. Interesting. Good fun. We'll give it to the Plague Drones. Alright. We're gonna go fight the many stacks of Co Stalton. Alrighty. Now, unfortunately, all of the reinforcements are coming from behind this character, so we can't do our usual trick. Our usual shenanigans. That's alright. Here's the Nox Bringer, by the way. Put it next to the Soul Grinder. You can see the differences. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? Glorious. Marvelous. And he has a lot of stuff going on. Destroys ammunition. Pretty good. 15 shots. 
Oh, he destroys ammo with his melee attack as well. Excuse me, with his melee attack as well. Less melee, or excuse me, missile strength than an actual soul grinder, but... Alright. Now, the question is, do I bombard them? Or do I go at them? We might try to be a little cheeky here. Which I know. Nurgle. Cheekiness. Weird. Never heard of that before. But, um... We'll see what we can do. You... Three? Four. This is our back line of pure armor-piercing glory. We, of course, have our giant of Nurgle. Chaos Shrine. So I think we'll keep... Uh, we'll have those, our two single entity flyers, go absolutely fisticuffs. Which leaves the Rot Knights. And that leaves the Pestigors. We can hang out here. They made us get caught and die because I forgot about them, but hey, that's the fate of Pestigors. The Beastmen are not particularly, uh... What's the word? Favored. They're kind of a joke of chaos. Ah, uh, we're just gonna go kill the Lord, it's fine. Yep. Perfectly fine. All according to plan. I don't know what kind of, like, single entity-ish damage this thing has. But my spirit leech is doing well. You know what? I need... I need... Wait, do I have it? No. I was going to say, I need more spell mastery, but... Could even... Sure, we'll spawn with the Chaos Series. Why not? What are you guys shooting at? Okay, you're shooting in the blob. Good. We can use the Chaos Furies to tie down these things, I guess. Three, two, one. You could also have this guy spare leech, but there's no need. The bombardments from hell. The nightmare. They're kind of whiffing here. Unfortunate. Alright. You dropped the bombardment on my Chaos Furies. Not the wisest decision you've ever made. Oh, we have some... The Chaos Furies would do a lot better against these things. Although, now they're temporary, so... Whether they'll live long enough to go do that is a different story. Spirit Leash you. Get some health back. Okay, I think it's time we start moving our army. You want to go... Uh, prepare to meet them? We can walk. As if Nurgle wasn't slow enough. <laughs> We can walk. What, you want to fight? Bruh? We can send some fast stuff over there, I guess. I mean, the pesties are fast. Looks like I have taken some damage. But it matters not. We need some wham. We're running away from the, uh... Frostworm. Most of that damage is probably taken by the, uh... Or from the little spears, which is kind of unfortunate. All right, we're gonna start shooting. Okay, we're separating our units, which is never a good idea, but it's all right. Go we'll wound out. You are the anti-large variants. Let's have the train go shoot at this stuff. Um, you know what? We'll spirit leech this, and then we'll pull back forever, Kennedy. Make sure we get a good fecundity on stuff. This will be fine. We'll have our, uh, you guys go start chasing that stuff down. The Rot Knights are going to make sure our front line doesn't fall. We have our warrior here. They can come aid us in this endeavor. The Soul Grinders continue to shoot. Fecundity is going on a and -R. Who's going to Spirit Leech? That guy.
We'll go fight the Snow Leopard. It should be a very straightforward fight. And now we need to go get in the back. I'm not sure how we're going to do that when everything is so separated, but we're going to do it. You'll see. You guys go there. Okay. Let's go. We need to go shut this all down. There's too much stuff here. Where are you? You guys over here as well. Boy, I wish I had a giant AoE. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Sure would. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta go tie it up. There's too much going on here. I'm gonna ward myself. In fact, I'm at a healing potion as well. And the spirit leash this. Um, we'll do that, sure. We can get over here for the Locust of Virulence. You guys need to stop shooting me. You guys need to get in there. The Rot Knights are just kind of taking shots for free. You hate to see it. What is this guy doing? He's hanging out. You over here. Push haste down the Lord. A flying unit? Okay. It is it is Spreading corruption. You can go help. Oh, you're on foot. Mm. If you were large, you could help. Where are you? That is a hag witch of death. Interesting. Okay. This fecundity should spread, I think. I hope. Maybe. Possibly. Get in there, bro. Go full power. Okay, we're gonna pull you back. Wouldn't it be embarrassing to lose the Noxbringer in its first fight? Oof, that would suck. Let's make sure, uh... Ooh, that lady's a big target. We need to, uh... Get a Locust. Where's this thing? Oh. It's right next to it. I hope that hit did a we'll pull this guy back. Make sure you get into this blob. A blight boil would do wonders right now. Wait. Are you still alive? No. Okay. More shots, more shots, more shots. I don't like shots. I don't know why you're not attacking. That's fine. He pulled you back. We saved you. Even that mess. Soon ANR will have um his mortis engines. This blob fight would be going really well for us. I'm gonna see if I can pull the Chaos Warriors and get them to go back. Did you ever summon your things? You did not. Why not? I caught that just in time, but we'll see if it was fast enough. It was a little messy, a little messy team, but um, hey, we still got it, I think. Yeah. No big deal. Let's get another fecundity. Where should we put it? Sure. I think those are fake, though. No, those are my plague ogres. Cool. Well, team, if you keep moving, that'd be great. Keep on, keep it on. That was a summon that disappeared. Don't need to worry. Don't need to be alarmed. I believe we are literally one WOM short of being able to cast another Spirit Leech and this heals the team up a little bit, but... Hey, okay. happens. This is what it is. Considering that this was like literally my hardest counter, I think we did okay. Praise the did you guys ever build your... Almost. Alright. As always, we are going to chase some stuff down, and I'll see Warriors you on the victory screen. Another close victory for the Plague Father. I was able to heal up a little bit by just hanging around the, the war shrines. And once again... The army replenishment is garbage. Garbage.
Also, somehow my upkeep is even more expensive now. Don't quite understand that. But the uh, the war train did really well. The Iron Demon? Big proud of it. It actually outdid the Plague Bear things. Plague Bear. We have Pestilent Decay, finally, the Soul Grinders. This gives us plus 15% HP and the Pestilent Decay, which is a Mortis Engine effect around us, dealing 16 to 32 damage every second. So those that big blob fight we had, that big disgusting blob fight, um, would go very well for us now. It already went pretty well for us, but now it's going to go incredibly well for us. Our Leg Ridden gets more skills. And... It might not be a um, it might not be a bad idea to have him go life leeching. Because this gives us reserves. So if we have him doing the spirit leech spam, then uh, we can get more more wins of magic. We'll see. We'll see. The demonic host. This is the Jade Tando who just needs to hit some more. Hit harder, hit more. There's our great unclean one. Let's take Aaron Grads. A decisive W. No need for me to fight this. I dislike sieges. Though we do pretty well, I think. I could sack this for 10,000. Excuse me. That's loot and occupy. Sacking is 21,000. Oh. That's a lot. I think I have to. Now, when you loot and occupy, it goes down an extra level. So, typically, I don't like to do that. But it's still tier 4. So, um... Maybe it was the correct call. Maybe it was the correct call. I don't need this. There we go. Increased building upkeep. We can do some merging. Try and get some good items here. Meh. Now you're speaking of my language. That's 16% ward save on my Demon Prince. Mm. Ooh, Helm of Discord as well. That is a very good item. That's an item for our cultists. Cool. We can pop that in a big blob fight, which of course we love blob fights. Dark Enough everyone else. Useful adornments. Hmm. We're gonna be rich. This is beautiful. I will build a wall here. Well, I suppose the question is how useful the wall will be, but that's fine. Could even build this here. There's probably Skaven shenanigans afoot. I don't think I've ever actually built this carnivorous compost. Should I build one? Sure, it's cheap. Alrighty. We're repairing, we're building. Erengrad is ours. Erengrad has a legendary port. Uh, probably one of the strongest ports in the game. How much is it to repair this? Sure. That was a thousand. Answer the question. And we have the Empire. My oh my. Let's uh, do a quick run through our territories. We want to make sure no one is capped on growth. Because that is wasted opportunity costs. One thing I do like is that uh, Nurgle appears to be pretty easy. Oh yeah, I was going to trade this to this, guys. Uh, pretty easy to keep high control. Big fan of that. These are the Blood Marshes. Might 
be time to upgrade you to make sure we don't lose this. Wouldn't hurt. Hmm. Could upgrade one of these as well. What we build here is our third building. Probably just more recruitment, right? Probably. Okay. And then we'll keep our money, I guess. We'll do that for more infections. Infections are always fun. And we'll go to tier two here. Fun. Okay. We'll keep the rest of our money because there's only two turns of upkeep. We could even sell this, which we might. Aaron Grad's gonna need some control. Because we have, of course, pillaged it. We are ascendant for one more turn. So for two turns we can have a Giga Replenishment, which mm, we already have a lot. Okay, we're fine. All's well. The four token. What? Bellicor likes me. Increasingly more. Yes. If M Ooh, Malachi will peace out, but he is at war with people I like. Your people will suffer for your clumsy attempts at diplomacy. Hmm. Remaining at war with him increases my likelihood of these guys liking me. You want me to fight the Empire? I will eventually. Oh, that's the Fecundites. No wonder. You guys don't have quests. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, I can request a mission and, you know, if they attack me, they attack me. Alright, sure. If they attack me at Erengrad, they attack me at Erengrad. could spawn a pestilence. Can I spawn it from my friends? No. Okay. Let us get a glorious pestilence. I could just, you know what, I'm just gonna spawn, ah, uh, I have four turns of immunity. Sucks. All right. We do have a blossom here. The only benefit, I think, to that, though, is just that, um... That would have been helpful to have. The only benefit, I think, to the Blossom is just that it's stronger, you know? So, we want to increase spread, increase duration, and reduce immunity. And this cultist is going to spread this to the heart of the Empire. Oh, there's the Emperor himself, speaking of. Okay, Karl Franz. Come at me. Or don't. I saw a, um... An AI time-lapse of the game in its current state, on the current patch. You in peace now? Go <gasps> peace out with me. Go peace... Malekith will peace out with me. We'll accept it. We'll see what happens. I'm already in an alliance with um, with Wolfric, so it looks like the Sorrow also took this peace offering. That's nice. I'm sure Wolfric won't mind too much. He's already sent me some of his Vermeer warriors. Anyway, the AI time lapse. Uh, the Empire did very well in that time lapse, as did the. Oh. This is unfortunate. Uh, as did the dwarves. The dwarves were completely dominant in it. I have no one to go get this. I am back to being positive, though, somehow. So there's that. Oh, we have a plague here in Talabaim. Alright, sure. We'll go... 
I believe Altdorf is here. Go to Altdorf. I know it's too far. Um. Okay. Also, Astrogoth, I think you should be more concerned about defending your lands than taking new ones. But hey, don't let me tell you what to do. We could get some skin wolves as well. Keep forgetting what this does. Horrible regeneration. Oh, this resurrects dead combatants. Oh my goodness. That is insane. Yeah, okay. What I could do is get like two skin wolves and two Famir. Because I believe the Famir are anti infantry, right? Yeah. And the skin wolves are anti large. But like I said, I already have plenty of anti large. Wouldn't hurt to have more. Alright, Tamarcon. Keep Grimgore at bay. I'd say that your mere existence is doing that, but I mean, Grimgore ain't scared of shit. An AI Grimgore is not something to be to be tested. Ignorance pains me. I'd love to fight the Emperor. It would bring me great joy. I see wisdom eludes you. You want Aaron Grad, my dude? Okay, I'm a little concerned here. Also, I am, I did remember before I started recording that Epidemius has a quest right now. Uh, so, I'm going to try and get like to full health and then go do his quest. It's for his unique item. Okay. We're very broke, so I don't have plans on... I don't really need growth either. I don't have plans on... Yikes. So if I leave Erengrad to take the castle, Franz comes to Erengrad's and takes it from me, which downgrades it to another level. And then I have to take it back from Franz to downgrade it another level. I think I'm just going to stay here. I think we're just going to chill. I think this was one of the most... Simple turns I've had in a long time. God. I don't know why the Pox Maker doesn't want to be my friend. But this is going down. It was 100, now it's 77. Alright, Franzi boy. You want to fight? We can fight. You will regret it though, Franz. You have plenty of enemies besides me. Now, Grano, we have to go back to war. Okay. I have to do something about the Varg, and I don't know what I'm going to do. The closest person is A&R. Reichland comes! Speaking of A&R. Alrighty. Well. We get a fight. Okay. Now, we're not particularly great at sieges, either way, no matter how you look at it. But, um, we, we might be able to get away with something a little tricksy. A little, a little tricksy here. I think I'm going to go out and fight them. <laughs> now, this may sound ridiculous, perhaps because it is a little ridiculous, but... If we go thump them with uh, reckless abandon, I think it'll be okay. Now, it's worth noting that Franzi Boy is a dedicated anti-large specialist, so he will probably give ANR and my Plague Ridden a run for their money. He probably is. He, he will. He will. There's really no need to debate that. What we're going to try and do is we're going to try and use our Pestigores to go around, stomp this, and we'll just fight outside the walls with the benefits of the tower shooting. Now, unfortunately, there is a lot of good guns against me. But, um... 
We'll, we'll do our best to try and stop him. That's that's kind of the plan. Is it a good plan? Probably not. But it's the plan. So, I could use my fake units here to try and, you know, really play around. But, uh, we didn't really have time to replenish the HP of the garrison anyway, so... Now, here's part... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is why the Fast Wars are here. There's also the Temple Hof Luminok on this side, which is pretty good at shooting stuff. Let's see if I can dodge a little bit. Oh, we're good. And the Fast got in, so that should be fine. Uh, we're healing a little bit, I think. But we're going to pop this potion early, just in case. And we'll make sure you're here for an early that. Great. So A&R should be healed up. We're stomping that. We have the Furies to go here. We should have just sent the Furies out. Now we're going to get you guys out. And you'll start shooting over in this direction. Some Reichsguard. Reichsguard are kind of just okay, but remember they're in the hands of the Emperor. Also, I didn't build any buildings, which is really bad. We're just going to kind of count on this to exist for a little bit. Okay, you guys need to shoot. And you can shoot whatever you want. It's fine. Let's get our Rot Knights who are over here. They should do very well with this. We need to make sure something, at the very least is healing, because I believe, yeah, the reinforcements are coming from here. So we're going to have a big scrap here. So I go. Now, of course, we can't just lose the game if they take this. If they take the city. But, uh... That's okay. We should be able to shatter them, I hope. I'm counting on shattering them before we... Do, you know, before anything. We'll just shatter them. Just shatter them, forehead. This is a fake cultist. Now, if we have a and do Soul Leech, or Spirit Leech, he will... What is this? Mortars? They don't really want to be grouped up like this. Ow. We don't want the Temple of Luminarch to just shoot. Uh, if a and our Spirit Leeches... Then we heal. And if this guy spirit leeches, we get more WOM. And right now we're get more WOM. I need to be over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this Temple Hoff, I'm not gonna lie. The Temple Hoff is doing way more than I expected. Oh you're on a uh hmm. Kinda awkward. Okay. These are our Rot Knights. We could have the Rot Knights go fight the Temple Hoff, I suppose. You're hanging out. Note to self, the steam tank is pretty good in melee. Okay. I'd argue this is going poorly. We've shut down the mortars. I'll slug them, sure. We have the halberdiers doing stuff. I think I've confused the AI. They're like, hmm, we need to get in the city. Wait a minute. Wait one dawn, two and seconds. How's the city doing, by the way? It's been kind of breached. Gotta be honest, don't really care. 
How's this doing? We have shut down the mortar, but the temple hop got away. Mm. Okay. Now you might call me crazy. And you would not be inaccurate. But, you know, at least this is not me just sitting behind the wall. Waiting. Giving the Empire more of a fair fight, which is a terrible idea, by the way. The Empire love their fair fights. If I can kill Franz, that would be pretty good. Now let's do a big locus. Fantastic. Spawn that. Good. Okay, the Rot Knights are trying to leave. We have halberds here, which is not ideal. You guys threw your grenades already? Franz is dying. Slowly. Surely. What are you guys up to? Oh, you're hanging out. Okay. I say we go uh, hang out in the city. Build stuff. Remember, I'm playing a siege. Despite the fact that I'm treating it nothing like a siege. We have fecundity. Popping it down here. Dimploff Luminarch is doing quite a bit of damage. But soon we'll be able to go stop it. My Rot Knights, where'd they go? Okay, they're still fighting over here. We don't want that. We do have some enemies that have started to try and climb the walls. Uh oh. What is this? Oh, yeah, of course. My Iron Demon. Guys, why aren't you doing anything? Franz is dead. The Tempelhof Luminarch is open. I had a Witch Hunter shooting me the entire time. Ow! Okay, we're going to pull back. And see, this is how you know this was a dumb decision. Behind the walls, the Tempelhof can't hit me. Nothing can hit me behind the walls. But here, out in the open, everything can hit me. Okay, the Temple Hark is Temple Off is dead. Gosh out, boys. Looking for me. The split has done okay. Except that the city is probably gonna fall soon. What's this time to? That's fine. As long as we keep them isolated, keep them away from everything, we should be fine. Make sure I'm staying near the, uh... Okay. Uh, near the shrines. You tried to pigeon bomb and you failed. Um... Where's Anar? Okay, we're going to fecundity from him. And we're going to Spirit Leech that guy, I guess. Okay. We should be healing pretty good here. Fortunately, my giant's not doing anything. Hate to see it. What if I just send the giant at this? That could be fun. Okay, now we need to start pulling back. I lost something. I would not be shocked, though, if I did. Let's be honest. I don't know why we can't kill this, but... This has been a little bit... Um... What's going on here? This has been very reckless, actually. Foolish levels of reckless. What the hell? But hey... It's been fun. I have crossbowmen behind enemy lines. Behind my lines. Oh, the thing's dying where my nurglings are protecting my base. Okay. I think it's time we get our swift units and start moving back then. By swift units, I mean 
these guys. You're dying. Heal me. Okay. Let's get uh, back into our land, secure it all. Not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping that if I just killed the lords, they'd start shattering. That was kind of my whole plan, and it has not worked out. Even a little bit. Why are you in... Oh, those are the care upgrades. Okay. All right, boys. I'm gonna get back in. I feel like my towers did nothing. I feel like they did very little. Well... I guess this is why you, um... Why you fight sieges inside. Okay, we have killed this guy, thankfully. Okay, we need the fecundity kind of everywhere. <laughs> Where don't I need the fecundity? I don't know. There's the shatter. Hey, the plan worked. It was messy as hell, but it worked. I didn't even use my summons. Oh, God. That could have been so much better. There's also more than one Karober Great Sword. Okay, so shattered units cannot cap things. So I have to worry about that. And now we just kill all the Unbreakable stuff. Boy, that was a mess. But hey, we did it. A heroic victory done in one of the weirdest ways possible. A heroic victory. Would I recommend that strategy? Absolutely not. But, um, it was fun. And once again, we only have 3% replenishment. So I'm not going to take it. Maybe I do need Giga Replenishment. Of the hey, Wolfric. You would like me to join the war against Coron. I'm in a little bit of enough of a pickle, I'm afraid. Oh, you would give me 3,500. Sure. What's our counter offer? Hmm. Alright. Sure, why not? That will also make Velikor like me more. Talisman of Endurance. The Reich's Hammer. Even great men are flawed. Failure is part of mankind's tragic condition. 10% XP gain. Nice. Plagues are spreading. We are on our way to rot. Glorious rot. Even though that was messy, I didn't lose a single unit. So, that's got to mean something. It's, that's got to count for at least something. The biggest miracle is that I killed freaking the Franz. Poor Franz, boy. Fighting a large demon is exactly what Franz wants to be doing. He has magic damage, he has anti-large, he has flying, he has pretty good combat stats, a decent amount of HP. He wants. I guess we're going all the way to Altofra. He wants to be fighting. He is in prime condition in that encounter. And yet... He did take Frank. You absolute bastard. You dare give me orders? Well. Baby we can take this opportunity to do our quest. I remember. Did you remember? Remember? Because I remember. Against the High Elves. Oh my. With some M. Excuse me. Bretonium. 
Reinforcements. They're putting the new anti-large that we have to the test. Fine. I accept your test. <laughs> your father's gifts have found their way to the Asur. Look at how they suffer. Every cough, splatter, and lacks glorious to behold. My host will give them life's final release. For that is what Nurgle demands! There shall be no cure for the death we bring! Sounds good to me. Alrighty, so we're up against the Asir. Who knows where they have spawned? I forgot that my, uh... Epidemius' army is a little... A little lackluster, don't you think? Could do some upgrades, but hey. It's doing well, and that's really all that matters. We have what one would call the the Doom Squad here. Double hero of Nurgle. The Gank Squad. The Nurglings will hide in the trees. And we, of course, have Uncle for Uncle. The ROR. Great on clean one. He is a monster of a fighter. Defiling a deluge. Heal self damages enemies. Interesting. He has a bound spirit leech and a bound stream of corruption. Wow. Nurgling emergence. If he dies, he summons Nurgling. So I don't want him to die. Alrighty. Well. That's our squad. We have our war shrine in the middle. Let's get to work. Oh yeah, I forgot I have it forsaken as well. Yeah, these are the demon spew. We're gonna go straight. The high elves are afflicted with our plague and are perishing, but the Bretonians will soon rally with a cure. Can't have that. I guess you can go shut that down. Oh, we have a fireball. Humanity has always attempted to cure things with fireballs. What? Oh. What are you hitting at? You're hitting Epidemius. I haven't played with Epidemius in so long. I kind of forgot what he does. He spreads plagues, of course. Not going to be any confusion. I suppose we can get some prison. Let's get a, a rancid visitation. We're not going to overcast or anything. Alright. Everyone's moving and a grooving. We'll do that. Press all of our buttons. Glorious buttons. Rot. Glorious rot. All right, here's our plagues, our nurglings. They come from the forests. The I don't know what you're up to. You don't either. Found Spirit Leech. Found that thing. I'm sure we'll press that. All right, Uncle for Uncle. Go do your thing. Try and throw our whole unholy hand grenades on that. The Nurglings have caught their prey. How did that happen? Well. He's working on it. The Bretonians have arrived with a cure. If they reach us, the elves will be cleansed. Unfortunate. Could do another rancid, I suppose. Sure. And we'll uh, heal our units for what little damage they took. Where are the Bretonians? Ah, they're over there. I mean, I completely shattered them. 
Uncle for Uncle has taken some damage, though. The battle is lost! Indeed it is. The Asir Lord is dead. The demons of Nurgle. Or feasts. Okay. I how Epidemius just got into the battle. <laughs> He's like, but I just gone here. We're already done? Right. Uncle for Uncle. We have our little plague ridden boy here. thing isn't great. That that thing I keep pressing is just giving me increased uh, recharge so I can cast spells more often. Well, sooner. It doesn't give me it doesn't give me recharge unlike the Spirit Leech. So. What's that? Nope. Bretonia has come. The cure has been administrated. The elves will no longer wither. But it matters not, for it is too late. Wherever her father asks. I have a spawn. Oh. Uh, let's descend. And we'll bring Kazik over here to help. Oh. Uh, we'll wait on this. Get around to it. Oh no! I guess it's nice. What's going on over here? Our button. Hmm. The Nurglings have a duty. Go there, go there, go there. This army could use some faster units. Wonder how we're gonna do that. Not sure. I mean, if you want to fight, we can fight. Okay. We can ransom this, I guess. Make sure it dies. Is there a lord over there? There is. Fantastic. He's not going to enjoy that. We already have the Nurglings chasing off the archers. They're shattered. Fantastic. You're doing great. I'm out of wham. The one thing I do have in this build over the other one is I have a lot of ways to generate my army ability. Because I have so many different plagues. I have the virulent contagion. I have Kha'Zix's damage reduction thingy. I have so many. It's great. There's a lot of horses. I'm not fleshy myself. Alright, fine. We'll, we'll fleshy myself and then get to work. Epidemius continues to wander ponderously. There's Kazik. Ah, my auntie's chasing this stuff down. He has a very loud voice line. Kazik and this guy. Oh, he's a little busy. That should be the end of that. We can summon a great and clean one. For the lulls. Epidemius is, um, hanging out. We can summon some of his stuff as well. Take a fart. Release. Release myself. Relieve myself, even. Okay. There's a fake, great, unclean one. Oh, I even get its bound spells. Oh, that's fun. And uh, the Miasma Pestilence. Sure. I should have used it on the character that was still fighting me. That's okay. Alright. Well. Heal uncle for uncle. My nerglings! Forgot about them. 
How dare you? You foul demon. Born from the bleakest womb. What's going on over here? Hmm. And the toads aren't great at that, but they should win the fight still, I think. Probably. They should. Okay. Yeah, about the hero doing nothing. Should fix that. Rectify that. We'll heal up our toads. My poor Nurglings. Only one remains. And it's not even the good one. He flew off to nowhere. How could I forget about the Nurglings? Well, actually quite easily. Kaiser's like a one-man army, so this shouldn't be that big of a deal. He currently has over 1,000 weapon strength. Wow. Could you slow down, please? I can't catch you. Oh, hey. Are they slow enough now? 46 speed. I still won't be able to catch them. Well, we're chasing off the Bretonians. No big deal. All's well that ends well. We lost some Nurglings, but we can just make more. I think. Right? Are these the anti-large ones? They are. These guys literally counter Kazik and he just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> That's how good he is. I think Kazik is better than um, Tomercon. Don't tell him I said that, though. And we have our exalted hero enjoying his new mounts. And I think that's it, team. Where's my master coming? Yep, I think we're good. It's unfortunate that we got pulled apart and uh, I lost those Nurglings, but hey, close victory. The poor Nurglings. They paid the price. Alas. Alrighty, the Sands of Sickness is completed, which of course gives us more money, more replenishment, and the Sands of Sickness. Increased diplomatic relations with the Demons of Chaos. Whoops, they're dead. The ability, Sands of Chaos, which I think is a another plague. Indeed it is. Increased cash replenishment rate, wound time reduction, and upkeep reduction for all Nurgle units. Epidemius. Something that I have been seeking... For a long time. And he didn't even have a talisman. Now he does. One of the best talismans out there as well. Alright, Epidemius. What you doing, bud? We wanted to come out, I guess. He's already a pretty good combatant, and now he's going to be a better one. You're doing great. Okay, you have your stuff. Wait, what was this? Doesn't really matter. Cavalry and chariot units. Cavalry and chariot units. Cavalry and chariot units. I'll just keep doing your combat stuff. It's fine. Oh, I can summon you as an enemy ter- er, in, um... Allied territory. I wouldn't mind a soul grinder of my own. Perhaps even two. They are demonic, after all. Is the toad dragon demonic? I want one. It's not demonic. Wow. That's unfortunate. How do I have no spawn? Hmm. This confuses me. Perplexes me greatly. Well, we're barely in the positive, so let's not push our luck too much. Shall we? Doom 
Now, A and R. We're definitely going to want to follow this up, I think. You know what? Let's get Bloated Carcass for you. Wipe these guys out. Do we push into Imperial Lands, though? I don't think we do. Oh, hey. Mr. Um... You. Oh, you ran away. Four conditions available, but quests are not. How unfortunate. Alright. I don't want to push into Empire Lands, but I do want to repel the Empire. A close, only a close victory? No, no, no. Let me show you something. Alrighty. Let me let me show you how it's done, okay? You think this is a close victory? With the losses? Bruh. When do we eat? Wheat now, Mr. Plague Nogger. Plague Nogger. Plague Nurgle Ogre. The Plague Lord's rock. That's how those words all go together. We're going to feast upon the foolish empire that dared to oppose us. I'm not even going to give them the respect they deserve. I'm just going straight in. Yeah, you're going straight in. We're going to do your Spirit Leech to get more WAM, even though I already have plenty right now. Then, you're going down, you're going into that. Like we can even summon a... little thing here. Make sure the spears are good. Alright. Everyone else move up. And we'll get this going. You guys get going over here. Our rot knights will make sure nothing escapes. More speed. Where is the areas? Okay, he's dead. Pretty good. Oh no, look, I'm being shot by free company militia. But it doesn't matter. Literally does not matter. I should be dead. I can probably wipe them before the reinforcements arrive, but we're not going to accept victory. We're not. You know why? Because we're going to wipe them all. I can even fast forward this a little bit. Boom. There was the moment there. But we would have waited for reinforcements anyway, so. Where is the other guy? You're there? Go get him. That's a dead boy. This is going well. This is Felix Jaeger? Oh, we can't have that guy coming back. Felix heals in combat. He's a decent combatant. He's nothing incredible. Okay, you guys need to shoot there. You need to go get this guy. Astagor's wait in silence. The anti-large prepares for glory. You go help. And now, we attack. Here we go! Here we go! That's right. This way! Right, what do we got? What hasn't been given an order? You're chilling. We're gonna go straight. Straight through the heart. Where's Felix? Felix die? Not yet, but he shattered, so it's fine. And this army is in, uh... It should wipe the army, I think. Probably. We'll come down here, get our... Our Locus. 
get our debuff. The train's going to go straight through to the archers. Kaboom! Do our buff, do our debuff. You guys get over there. You go here. Kundity through the whole party. The train just ran that guy over. Our giant didn't even have to get involved. Which ones are you? You're just the giants, okay. Look at that. Alright. That looks like uh, GG to me. How about the best scores? Best scores didn't even get involved. You guys aren't even doing anything. The Lord is dead. I'd say the enemy breaks, but the enemy is not breaking. We'll get a good surround here. Yes. Make sure you're fighting in the blob here. Got our surrounds. I don't know why the Empire is so... There we go. I was literally just about to say I don't know why they are so uh, resilient today, but I wouldn't save them. All right. That was like a GG to me. Can you believe the AI thought? Wow. That, that was a close victory. Uh, oh, how dare it. You know what I could do? Ooh, I do like gold mines. Hmm. I was going to say, I could take this over and give it to um, my boy. You know, I kind of want a big bomb spell, but all in due time, perhaps. So I can return to Erengrad. I think I can see, uh, sack this and then force march to Erengrad and it'd be fine. I think. Look at me. Actually, wow, okay. Well, I'm rich again. That's fun. Being rich is fun. Demonic onslaughts. Charge bonus, and then, yep, that's pretty good. Now that we have so much money, we can kind of just, you know, brute force our way up. I can also actually recruit stuff here if we wanted to. I have 2,500 infections. We need to start infecting our own territories. Um, do I have any weapon string? Attrition. What about over here? What's what's going on over here? Okay, we're all still infected. That's fine. So let's go the other way. Remember, we get benefits for infecting non nerglite stuff. So if we start here, to spread the infection. Infection for one and all. And then you're infected. You can go over here, technically. Yes. And we can go... Hmm. We'll go here. Boom. Exponential light. Okay. We'll do. Is there any research I need to pay for? No. Okay. That's fine. But the inspect... In the inspections. The infection spread. Ah. Uh-oh. 
Grimgore's getting some ideas. We can't have that, Grimgore. Where are my heroes? They're really... They're still far behind, but they're almost... Man, he never made it to land. They're almost here. They're like four turns out. The fact that they never made it to land kind of sucks. Tamarkan's chilling. He's waiting. He's watching. He could just go with more ogres, I guess. I don't know if the og how good the ogres actually are. And the Iron Demon has been doing so well for me. The Dreadquakes are kind of memes, not gonna lie. <laughs> but, I mean, it would be funny. Okay, we are still... I think we're one turn off getting more from here. Of course, is what I want. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. This will be tier 3 soon, which will give me the special building. The new legendary building. And go to tier 3 so we can get the tier 3 salts. Volksgrad is chilling. Remember the... We need to upgrade that, I don't think. Uh, the provincial buildings do give you more money, so. Hello, Forest of Decay. Sure, we'll get both of our psycho buildings here. We're going to trade this eventually. Make sure we don't... I'll build this to make sure we don't lose control. Wait, what's this? Make sure we don't lose control of it. Just randomly. Okay. We're focused on money right now because I am short of it. Well, I have a lot of money. What I'm short on is income. You're upgrading. We can upgrade this as well to tier 3. Hopefully that'll help. Wait, does this no longer give um, more defenses? Is it just the Nurglings? I hope you'll be okay. Alright. Let's see if Grimgore does a silly. Just real quick, run through our... Da -da 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 okay. Prepared. You are... Oh, hey, I can give you stuff. I have seen the garden of light. You Man. Okay, we'll give him 4k. That should help out. He's still doing fine, which is very unusual. Usually, this guy gets his ass whooped. Big Daddy Kugath does not have an enjoyable time down here. Facing the undead, the Dowie Czar, Imric. Who else is over here? Clan Moors is sort of kind of over here. The Iron Dragon is nearby-ish, but the undead form a nice little wall there. The Dowies are just like hard counter Nurgle. What's up, brah? You want peace? You do. Ah, uh, you want peace after taking my territory. Fine. But I hope you know that if uh, if Wolverick calls me back, I will go to war with you. Also, the Nemesis Crown's response. It was sealed by... Uh, it was sealed by Karl Franz last time. Grimgor is coming. Uh-oh. Embrace despair. He may choose to just keep raiding me, which would be a perfectly acceptable choice. 
You don't have to fight me, Grimgore. I'm not saying we can be friends, Grimgore, but I'm saying... We don't have to fight. Push that a little bit. Where does the Toad Dragon come from, and why do I still have zero of them? Ah, it comes from this type of building. Hmm. Like how recklessly I'm using my stuff. Let's build a wall and build that. There goes all my infections. Keep upgrading that. So you're gonna make me a lot of money one day, Mr. Aaron Okay. Did that help? No. It did not. Okay, I think I'm gonna recruit then a um we have a warship, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll just get another ogre, I guess. I could get a chaos warrior. I think we'll do it. We'll get one of them. That brings us to five units. Yes, yes. Okay. Grimgore probably won't be able to attack me with this. Because I can throw the garrison at him to be sacrificed, be munched, and then we can come in with the one two punch. The one two Tamarcan punch. But we have a rule here. Uh late game, i.e. Grimgore, you don't fight. You accept the autos for that. I see wisdom eludes you. I think we just go take this. Such ignorance pains me. No. Okay, he can't reach me, and this guy won't. So we're going to go take this. And there's Ulrika. Easy auto. We have destroyed Kostaltin. Ra-ra, Kostaltin. He is super dead. Super mega dead. And the Tsarina Katarin is within the city of Kislev. Shall we get the new unit? These are the Angels of Death. The ROR, Leg Drone's Death Head, so they have their own unholy hand grenades. I don't know how good they are, like, combatant-wise. Hmm. I'll just... I mean, I could get a Plague Bearer. We'll call it a Plague Bearer, it's fine. They're super cheap for Epidemius. Alrighty. We shall... Do I just beseech... Do I draw them out? Can I? I can. And the AI thinks it's a Pyrrhic victory losing only a Plague Bear and Toad. And this will be our glorious... I have Lightning Strike. I forget about that. Our glorious conclusion for today. Taking Kislev, that is. Not just this fight. He deployed where he should. We have, what, two minutes to get over there? That's plenty of time. We do have a little bit of a wounded plague bearer, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. We're just going to waddle over there and uh, prepare for the... the glory. We've used this strategy before. This glorious strategy. Here are the Angels of Decay. Look at them. So they have a, a lot, actually. They have 30 ammunition. Wow. Uh, unholy hand grenades. So we can kind of position them over here. And get them to, to blob down. Rain down hell. But I'm going to do... Literally the same thing I did earlier. In how many fights now? It's been, a, been quite a few. We're just going to have a glorious 
meme. I'm not going to get these guys involved yet. Their 30 ammunition is going to be priceless, probably. And we have the Nurglings who can stand right on top. This is a Drusina, isn't it? Yeah, it can shoot me. Look at that. I wonder how good the Drusinas are. I still have not played a Kislev campaign. I've unlocked Boris, but there's a mod to do it, and that's how I did it. <laughs> Alright. They got here before me. What a shock. Wait, I told you to hit this guy. Where are you? Mother trucker, son of a... Uh-oh. Uh, we might actually be in trouble here. Why did you guys do nothing? Great. Well. They're going to pull you guys back. It's my fault for not noticing they didn't move, of course, but still. Son of a bitch. We're going for the uh, Zarina. I'm going to try and get the uncle as deep in there as he can be. That's what she said. Let's get the plague spreading. And we're going to go for a big blight boil. Overcast and everything. All right here. I don't know. They're still shooting at the plague drones. These are heavy war sleds, by the way good blight boil um, which are kind of problematic for Nurgle to deal with and of course we have our plague bears all nice and stuck of course let's get a fecundity in there Kazik is demolishing the frost storm which is what he's good at I'm not sure why you can't use abilities. You can't either. Because of the air elemental baron? Maybe. We will rancid Katarin wherever she may be. I do not see her. Katarin! Fine. Give my victim, Alexander. Oh, there she is. I think what we're going to do next is a... Try and get him kind of pushed through there. I need to make sure I can kill the... Um... I'm going to try and force path my way in. Because the back line is what's really hurting me here, you know? Why can I not push buttons? I don't know. I don't like it. Some people can push buttons. Some people can't push buttons. We have a spawn. This spawns. Hmm. It might be the bear. Yeah, the bear. I don't know. It's not the bear. It's not you. Is it Katarine? She has too many buttons. I have no idea. But we lost a toad. Well, let's spread for Kennedy. How are you doing? You're being shot. Kazik is doing fine as usual. I'm going to send you over here. Like, not having enough WAM is one thing for this, but why? I'm not. I have never seen this. It has to be like a disabled debuff or something. The Totem of Ursus. It has to be that. Who has this? Could be a map effect? Hmm. I hope we're all fine while I'm just scrolling through all these abilities. <laughs> I have no idea who has this, and it's very annoying. That's why we need fire, um, a fire blood. 
Ah, uh, rock glorious rot. But I mean, you know, we're even without our buttons, we're kind of still just killing them. Give me a little bit of a flank here. I'm gonna get Kazik around to see if he can go. Um, kill Catman. Who is this? Oh. Well, Rancid, you. I got far enough away to press a button. Oh, wait, I can press buttons now. Kind of. Some people can press buttons. I don't know what the totem is. I'm going to assume it's like an item or something. Wait, is that it? No, it's fire blood. I don't know. I don't know, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. It's simply a nuisance. I don't know what you guys are doing here. Well, we won. Well, even when things went horribly awry for us, we still ma- There's some replenishment. We still managed to lose only a toad, and our heroes were practically unscathed. And now, we have gotten the kill Katarin bonus on Epidemius. Did you- Wait, what? Supremacy of suppuration. Did you just... Who got a Chaos Seed? I'm so perplexed. How are we doing? We're doing great. Nearly a hundred melee attack. I can't believe how, like, nigh unkillable Kazik is. It's a little disgusting, not gonna lie. All right, we should start going down the red tree for ANR. Definitely, absolutely, positively. Need some armor. Your armor sucks. We should give ANR some armor too. His armor sucks. But he is a leader, and leaders must have red line. How's this kid going? We could just go here. Or I'll just go here. This should start spreading all the way over here, I think. You know it'd be really fun? If you could uh, spread plagues from plagued areas. Like if that's where you could make cultists. But anyway, we did all of that in order to be able to auto-resolve this encounter. And take Kislev for our... Cells. And just like that, it's only tier 3. But uh, Kislev is secured for the Plague Father. Part of our win con is to kill. Oh, there you go. Uh, is to destroy Kislev and Coast Dalton. And I'd say we're off to a good start. One, two, a good start indeed. I should probably just get another Exalted Plague Bear. Oh, I don't have a, um, I don't have a Soul Grinder in this army. Let's rectify that, shall we? Okie dokie. ANR's over here chilling. We have taken Kislev. We have no building upgrades available. Astrogoth is chilling with us. Your army sucks, my dude. Are you really suffering that much economically? I hope not. You have the Immortals. That's fun. Fun little tidbit. The Greenskins also have a unit called the Immortals. And their name was inspired from the Immortals. The, uh, the Infernal Iron Sword unit. Just, you know, fun little tidbit. But anyway, that has been... A glorious episode. I hope that the Chowi can continue to hold so that we can continue our assault unimpeded. Next time, I am sure we'll have war with Grimgor and Tamarkon can show off his new bounds. He actually has a lot. 
of uh, stats, so I'm sure he'll be great. But all that and more is for next time. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you'd like to stay up to have a channel, feel free to join the Discord description down below, and I will see you next time as we destroy Kislev.